Time for some beer tasting. Now, James, a good friend of mine, AGT Archa Game Table, sent me Alexander Keith Dark Ale. I'm really looking forward to trying this one. It's been in the fridge for quite a while and it's ooh, nice and chilled. So, here we go. It's a nice aroma. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that. Now let's try that again. That's more like it. It's going in the glass this time. Okay. Yep. Let's settle for a moment. It's a very subtle, dark, slightly, slightly sweet, but it's a nice aroma. Nice looking head to it. Mm. Let's pull it more in. You can't rush these things. Leave it for a few minutes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nearly got it in there. Got a nice look to it. It's like a Guinness, but just just short that darkness to it. I don't know if it was showing the camera, but it's a really nice look to it. That's, here we go. Mmm, really smooth. Really, it's not too yeasty. I mean, you could basically have two or three of these, and you wouldn't feel bloated. It's, it goes down really smooth. No gas whatsoever, even though you can see some bubbles, it doesn't taste gassy, which is strange. I love the colour of the head, I love the fact that it stays there, it doesn't disappear instantly like with most beers. <sighs> that is beautiful. The only bad thing I'd say is I've only got the one can, but if you want to try a decent dark beer, go with this. Alexander Keefe's Dark Ale. Oh. Yep, it is dark ale. I got it right. <laughs>